Hey, good everyone, welcome back. Hope you're all well and safe this uh, glorious Sunday afternoon. And just have a really quick look at Moss Carbon MCO2 token. Um, we are 100% hugging the 618, and we have been for uh, I want to say a couple of days, but um, let's have a look. So, I'm going to include the, the break uh, in here as well. So, 49, 49 hours um, since we moved to it, we're rejected, broke above really strongly, had our rejection, um, and since then we've just been hugging it, dip below, pump above. So this is a consolidation pattern. Um, we've had not the hugest amount of volume come into this token, but we are we are accumulating. We are accumulating. Um, and it doesn't look like it wants to go lower. It has had plenty of opportunity to. <laughs> it's had plenty of opportunity to. And like I said before, I really don't like these uh, these these wedge patterns that form. Um, and if we pull out to the daily real quick, um, you know, we, we, it's, it's undeniable that we're in a wedge. Um, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> um, thing with wedges is it's very difficult to predict what's going to happen, but they usually show us what they want to do um, by having a mini breakout and then a true breakout. Now, we have broken the structure of the wedge um, with this move here, which could be a signal that it wants to go higher. That's pretty much the main reason I'm still holding and holding quite largely on Moss Carbon. Uh, however, um, you know, it's an unpredictable token. It does seem to have a level of market manipulation attached to it. So this thing could really just, it could drop. So I'm not going to give any financial advice, but just to say that we're approaching the end of the wedge. Um, and uh, yeah, um, you know, there, there will be an apex formed and we could, you know, come out of the wedge within the apex and then whether we pump up or pump down, you know, time will tell. I'm, I am bullish. I am bullish. I have to be transparent. Um, I remove emotion and I say that with wedges, it's 50-50 whether we go up or down. Um, the type of wedge I do prefer is where we've got a flat top and um, uh, we, we're seeing um, more lower uh, lower lows, if that makes sense, because then you essentially um, come into a, a, a position where there's nowhere else to go but to break upwards. This is a, a, a pretty um, even wedge. Um, so just to really draw you a really quick example of the type of wedge I like, and it's where you're, um, I'm not going to be able to do it with this, probably not. So it's, it, where you're basically straight, but then you're coming up as a diagonal to meet that. Um, and then what normally happens is you get closer and closer to the tip, you go boom, and it's all out, um, and everyone's sitting in profit. But with these ones, where you're coming to a point, it's, uh, yeah, <laughs> could go either way, could go either way. So if we take it to the minute, you can see that we are currently above the 618. We have been tailing above and below for, uh, well, just for days now, a couple of days. But on the five minute, you can see that we have just spent the last hour above it. Um, I, I can't really say either way what's going on here. We do seem to be accumulating literally on the 618. Um, but when we break below, we, we tend to come straight back up. And that's what's happened here. We've broken down. Um, and it looks like we've had a swing into an upside, but if it was a true upside, we'd have launched. Um, so we are, we're just accumulating and that's it. Short and sweet. Well, four minutes. Don't know how short and sweet that is, but it's, uh, yeah, we are clinging, clinging to the 618. And all I can say is that when we accumulate below, we tend to have a, a blow upwards. Um, if we are below, we tend to have a launch to make sure we're, we're higher. It's not somewhere that we like to sit for too long, um, even from our original move of inception um, back on the 23rd of Jan. It's, uh, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm bullish. I think that we've put the new low in, if I'm being brutally honest. I don't think we're going to go back to some of these areas we've been to before. And we have been curling up. We've been curling up for a while now. But like I say, this thing could absolutely shit the bed and come back to, to 826. Um, I just don't see it happening. I see us going off on a on a monumental run. 
and what would be the price price target for that mon monumental run I will show you now uh, because what these things tend to do uh, when a wedge breaks and I'll do it with the trend line although I hate them um, is that where you've entered the wedge and created sort of like the bottom to the top you would normally reverse from the pivot of the wedge um, in, in that direction so looking at this I've kind of overextended this trend line because it's uh, gone outside of the wedge just to the beginning of the beginning of the move but realistically it puts us back up at 24 um, so is it that this thing has accumulated for uh, the best part of two months shown us where it wants to go and then fallen into an accumulation pattern with some sell-off obviously um, and then it's just ready to blow so realistic target if it does fly to the upside will be circa the $24 right, uh, range and if I just have a look at some of the other charts that I've got rolling where does $24 sit with us mm, possibly 22 so have a look on this one yeah see I've, I've brought all my charts back into short-term action because uh, of what's been going on with uh, the 10% pump and dumps. I'm going to run another chart and I'll do a video later on today. Um, I do think there's time for that video to come out before we reach the apex and the decisions made. Um, but yeah, from here, we're either going to um, completely shit the bed back down to uh, somewhere between 8.3 and then possibly lower. I can't see it happening. I honestly can't. Um, or we're going to have a nice little move at some point over the next few days up to $24 and um, yeah best of luck everyone not financial advice but I hope this video has uh, been some help to you um, I look forward to your comments take care